And if this is gonna be that easy... Oh, look at this. Beautiful. 34 million. Ah, uh, that's a bargain, man. We're just gonna grab the GMs. Probably do some quick upgrading of the gear. Happy days for that. So this is what I wanna do for now. I have these two orbs, right? And I think now I have enough cores to actually upgrade them and slot them. So for now we have 480 combat power. So let's see once we're done. Upgrading this Dragonium is gonna be fun. I think we'll just go to plus 7. Like we'll go the safe option. Not risk it too much. All right. So need to make sure I'll have enough stats. To basically uh, equip the orb later on. Plus 7. Happy days. We can equip it. Okay and this one. Maybe this one will be not problematic as well. Plus 5, 6, get 4 more cores. 50-50? Ah, we lose a 50-50. Come on, Orb, you're gonna be plus 7. There we go. Nice. So if I put this one here... Wait, has to be other way around. But there we go, 485. Not too bad, right? And my uh, cape is kinda blocking the Dragonium cycle or whatever, but... Started to glow, right? Looking pretty. Nice. Now I could probably level up the wings just a little bit, at least to plus 10 or plus 20, just to get a bit more stats from here, right? Oh, it's only for PvP. We're not doing PvP at the moment. It's plus 7, so that's why it has 78% chance. If it was like plus 0, it would be even less, like 60 something. There we go. And the orb looking pretty. 487, not too bad at all. And this DM is starting to look pretty. 59% okay getting closer so now real quick let's do a couple of these uh, quests because they give so much xp as well and we'll see where we oh man force of habit see where we are after the quests we, we could reach 198 easy i think with the quests shouldn't be too hard what are you guys think can we actually get this dm to level 200 this stream would be a pretty hardcore challenge but cannot say it's impossible right also, I would need Transcendence rank. Still a bit far away. Oh my days, one of my ring is missing. Where's the ring? Reveal yourself, there you go. And it also helps that like these quests are extremely quick as well. Alright. Fish bush and you're done. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. That's what we like to see. After this, we have at least one more quest. I just be enough. And then we only have two more levels left to worry about, right? Oh wow, we actually have to fight Alina. Well, this took an uh, unexpected twist. Oh, my days. Alright. Oh, and she's actually not even that weak. Oh boy. Alright, alright. Oh, look at the cape, right? The cape of Sage looks much better. For sure, for sure. 198. What kind of quest am I doing? 197. Okay, so we still have some quests left. It's good. I don't expect it to carry us to 199. That would be just... Asking too much, I think. But I'll take all the XP as I can get. Because I already have like an awakened aura that I crafted for this uh, character. We're just waiting for a moment when we can use it. I have to go back here. Oh, and that was it. Well, okay, 30%. That's not bad. What do you guys think? So I need less than two levels. I need one level and 70%. I think that's doable in the stream. I think that's very doable. Okay, let me just think... What would be the most efficient thing to do? I'm gonna buy the temp gear. Let's actually go and do that now. Oh, and also we need level 200. So we're actually gonna get the level... Like really strong earrings for 30 days from the event. Right? So it's actually a pretty huge goal. I don't see anything else that I can buy from here, right? I could buy Brasslet of Sage instead of the Brasslet of Fighter that I have for the 30 days. What do you guys think? Is it worth spending 10 million? Wait, Brasslet of Sage, all skill amplus. Oh, the fighter also gives all skill amp. In the chaos upgrade slot. Not even that. Eh, I think we're now nah, we're gonna keep it like this. I think it's fine. Yo, Earl, welcome back. As I said, we're continuing the stream. Look at this, we're already 198. It took like quite a bit of uh, potions to get here, but we are here. Before we start running dungeons, I already bought the temp gear. We're looking for cheap level 1 runes. I think actually magic skill amp, right? That would be what we need. Or even critical damage I could take. Magic skill amp, there we go. 14 mil, ooh. Man, this got a bit pricey. Happy grinding, yeah. I mean, at least it's about to be. Man, I could actually drop them from the rune cube. See what kind of runes do I have here. Still gonna need these. 
I also have ignore resist skill amp. I think I have it on my blader actually, so I would be free to use it on the DM, right? Although this rune is like much more expensive than I originally planned a budget for this character, right? But I think let's go for it. We're also gonna take these. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Uh, these runes, because I know every class needs them. Still have 179 AP. Magic attack is probably... Oh my days, 15 mil. What is up with the prices, huh? Skill amp is even cheaper. Okay, maybe then I'll buy... Man, still 15 mil, that's... Isn't that too much? Where is the best option to farm alls 400,000 combat power? Maybe the X dungeons for cores? I'm also thinking like, what should I farm? It also depends like, maybe these guys would be nice. You get cores, you get like those uh, stones. I think I have them somewhere in my inventory. Yeah, there you go. Ice stone, look at this. I can just NPC it and get 19 mil. But for me, I think I need something that could give me XP. Maybe just even Eka, right? Yeah, Eka actually is gonna give XP and is gonna give the money. And is gonna give the AP. So yeah, I think that's exactly what we're doing. We'll try to fill all of the slots today as well. Okay, 570k GM's buff. I feel like I'm ready. Maybe this? Hmm. Wait, let me check. Maybe critical rings are cheap. If they're cheap, maybe we're gonna get it. But if they're expensive... 40 mil... Pfft, 40, get it? 96. Yeah, I think we'll pass. We can add a 35 points to intelligence, though. There we go. Pretty strong boy, I would say. Definitely enough to farm Echo. <gasps> Level 3. Crap. Oh, what a waste, guys, huh? I mean, I can still try. Maybe it's not a waste. I'll put my blader. Well, hello. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Okay, BM3. Do I need to bone shield? No, I'm fine. Surprisingly. Wow. Maybe I should switch the Apollo to a uh, Guardians. Maybe that's gonna be the play. Or what do you guys think? Apollo of Guardian or Apollo of Sage? Because they're both Demonite I have, right? Wake and Hazardous Valley. Also, yeah, pretty decent. Magic Amp and Attack Rune. I mean, they're like 15 million each, so both of them would be 30 million. I think uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I still don't have enough AP. I still need to gather some more. That's why Echo is actually a pretty good solution, right? And since we accidentally started it at level 3, I guess it's gonna be fun to see like how it goes. If I can kill the first boss, I'll be happy. The very first one on stage 4. I think that's more than enough. Man, do we look cool. We look cool over the uh, Sage Up Outlet, but let's, let's... We have to be cautious, right? We're completer, like... You know what I mean? We don't even have the Transcendence rank. Because that would give us so much combat power as well. But hopefully, maybe... I don't know. I don't know really the fast way to get skill XP. I've done most of the quests, but maybe I can find some more good paying quests for skill XP. Far so good. So I think now this is gonna be the first boss stage. Maybe we're gonna actually pass it. Level 3 for now doesn't seem as hard as I thought it might be. But I think the difficulty is gonna ramp up quick, right? I hope this is the boss stage. Yeah, man, I'm liking the DM more and more. You see, if I had Transcendence, I could use also my, like, extra damaging abilities, right? So it would seem like we have much more combat power. But since we have the XP event, I think the, the first main goal is level 200. Because the level up event is gonna end soon as well, right? So if we don't do it this weekend, you know, we might skip on those uh, rings for 30 days. That would actually are really nice. I guess this is our top priority. Yeah, I mean, we're doing surprisingly well. Who could have known, eh? Maybe that's gonna be the new strategy, right? If I can get up until wave 9, I don't expect to beat wave 9, because I don't think I actually beat wave 9 on level 0. But if I can at least get up to it, I'm more than happy, man. Then I would just farm level 3, Eka. Because we, in theory, were getting much more XP, right? And we'll see, we still need to see where we, how are we. Because yeah, the character did get like a lot stronger since we added the runes, right? We also added this guy, wasn't here before, we have the effectors as well. And not to mention all of these runes, right? Plus I guess the force, corrupted force blader is doing his fair share of damage as well. <laughs> doing something at least, right? There we go, much better lore, look at this. Beautiful! That is beautiful. And maybe like, you know, what a happy accident this was, right? I didn't plan, I would never have even thought about trying level 3 Eka. If it wasn't for this accident, I wouldn't have known 
this is actually a good idea to do. Obviously it's a little bit more expensive, but... And I don't think we're getting any more cores. The fragments, right? I think the frag amount of fragment is the same as level 0 Eka. But XP, we get more. So far, nothing major, but we'll see. I think from this stage, it starts to get serious. Serious business. Maybe we even aura here. Eh, let's aura just in case. Right, it won't hurt us. Yeah, it seems we're actually fine. Go, oh, 11, 12 million. 19, 20 million. Okay, 26 million. AP as well, look at this. Happy days for that. Okay, so far so good. So maybe we'll, we'll even pass the tyrant stage, right? Let's look at my defensive stats. 3,600. I huh. think we'll still play it safe, right? Okay, quick debuff. And let's go to business. The first stage doesn't seem too hard, but didn't expect the first stage to be hard. The st second stage of him is actually really dangerous because he spawns those carabs, right? And I think especially with DM, I need to make sure I avoid those carabs. These are basically like the ones that do like real big damage. I'll use my aura soon as well. I don't want to take any chances. At least not with the boss, you know? Go. Another debuff. And we go. You see? These carabs, right? Gonna make it much more tough. But we still have our defensive abilities. So as long as we don't get one shot, we're, we're fine. Okay, I'll pop my bone shield. Just in case. Just to heal back to full. We still have 40 seconds on the aura. Might be fine. Starting to get a bit messy. We'll pop defensive posture. I mean, don't want to celebrate too early, but... Happy days, eh? We did it. Level 3. Level 3 Eka. Oh my days. We're really starting to roll now. Okay. Now I guess we can enjoy the XP. And hopefully survive the XP. But look at this. 20 plus million per hit. And we do a lot of hits. I think finishing all of the Ekas today with the DM. Because that's maybe what we need. Because we have an ambitious goal. Like we have to keep in mind, right? Level 200. By the end of this stream. Like these are some hardcore challenges, right? And we're not using any type of booster. We only have the uh, event boost, right? Which is 400. We increased our combat power by quite a bit. Just by gathering up the runes. And yeah, the reason we want the level 200 so bad. So we can get the critical ring plus something. From the event for 30 days. Right? Because the events are ending. But I feel like we're gonna more than make it. Because like... I just discovered accidentally level 3 Eka, and look at this. Look at the XP we're making, right? We'll be 200 in no time. And by no time, I mean maybe like 4 hours. Something like that. My god, look at this. This guy was hiding all the time. Didn't notice him. Not even gonna try, I think, to finish that guy. New main? No, 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 no. Blader's my main for sure. I still do like my dailies on the blader, but I do them off stream. We're only playing DM until the uh, these all of these items expire. We already have like really good replacement items, right? So we're definitely gonna be switching between the Blader and DM. You know, maybe for one stream we play Blader, for the other stream we play DM. Depending on which character needs what the most, right? And also DM is gonna be a really nice addition. Because we have this uh, plan of basically... Wait, hold up. Let me just focus on this real quick. Yeah, I got knocked down. And those knockdowns are actually a little bit scary. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Yes, I just need to stay vigilant. Oh, my days. No, no, no. Uh, one of these guys. Man, he messed me up. He messed me up. Wait, do I... Oh, look at this. I'm still in my BM. Let's use the aura real quick. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Ay, 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 ay. I think I'm gonna use the superior thingy. And I'm gonna quickly exit the dungeon. So we know that this stage is a little bit too hard. If somehow we manage to get rid of the boss instantly, then this stage would be so good for us, right? Now we just need to make sure to quit before dying. There you go. Okay, we need to think about this a little bit, right? Did we actually gain that much more? Maybe next deck we try level 0. And maybe I'll get past wave 9. And maybe that, that way it would be more profitable, right? Do you have a guild? Yes. Well, on my main. Right, this one is just, uh, it started out as a side project, but it's uh, definitely gonna add value to overall account. Because we're planning to form the premium dungeons, so it's super useful. And also another use for another character on the same account. You can, there's a ghost on Bloody Ice. You can get overload potions from that guy if you're like level 200. 
So, and if we want, we can pass those overload potions to our main, to our blader, right? Yeah. So, some reason I feel like we're, we're, we'll be playing, we'll be switching between these two guys. But yeah, while we have the gear, it's a no-brainer, right? We need to test out the DM and build him up. Because I already built up almost like everything from the basics, right? We're missing few runes. And the most important, obviously, would be the transcendence as well. So we'll get level 200 and then we'll worry about this. And once we have everything done, man, then it's dungeon running time. We'll be so much more powerful. We'll be like over 600,000 combat power, right? I'm your fan. <laughs> hey, thank you. I hope you guys are stretching as well, right? Because we've been gaming so much today, right? We already did what, like a four and a half hour session? And we back for more. <laughs> critical damage we need. Ooh, we can get critical damage. 12 million. How much level 2 cost? 220? That's actually not even that expensive as I thought, right? I think that's actually a fair price. Let's see HP level 2. I'm not gonna invest that much money right now, but HP and defense, usually 300. I guess once I looked at like 200 million for level 2, level 1, for 12 million is not that bad, eh? <laughs> there you go. Boom. Happy days. We still have, what, six, seven slots to fill. Then we start upgrading. What an exciting time, eh? The power of the monster sealed within this artifact. Bring this artifact to the uh, desert scream to unveil its power. That means I get the ring or not? I don't really remember. Because if, if it just literally gives me the ring, this is actually much better, right? Because by now we're rocking critical ring plus zero. What is the other ring though? First one. Oh. Oh, so this is like an extension. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think it's okay for us buying it, right? 34 mil for like a super strong ring. It doesn't seem... It seems like good budget value. That's what all this character is all about. And if this is gonna be that easy... Oh, look at this. Beautiful. 34 million. Ah, that's a bargain, man. That is a bargain. Oh, beautiful. We're actually quite threatening right now. Mm hmm Cool. Well, we still have the buff. Let's quickly do an echo. GM could buff in 20 minutes, but then again, he may not. So, uh... Oh, <gasps> no, no! Oh, wait, I can exit. I can exit. Happy days for that. This time, we're trying level 0 now. We, we wanna compare. If I can get past wave 9, which I would be a bit surprised, but maybe. Then maybe we'll do this, because overall, it would be best for income. Because on level 3, we spend money to get the XP. On level 0, we're actually making alts. Because we're making those fragments of chaos. And we basically need... I have 2,000 already, but we basically need an infinite amount. Because these are the items that you buy your... Wow, what a misclick. Your dungeon entries, right? And I used to sell chaos cores before. But then I thought about it. Man, I sell them and then I have to buy them back from an agent shop, right? Because most of the dungeons require either Divine Cores or Chaos Cores. So over the weekend, to actually do 15 runs, it's like a really good idea. Because you can get basically enough cores for the whole week, right? That's why I think like Echo is like a really strong core. At least for like mid-game. Because I think I'm in mid-game. Like I don't think this is early game, right? Because with everything, we were probably gonna be like 600,000 combat power. So that's, I think it's like mid we're not gonna dive too deep into overload leveling. I think once we reach level 200, we're just gonna start doing dungeons. And farming some owls, right? I think that's the play. Provided, of course, we can get to level 200. Oh, I think for this one I can actually use my Apollo of Sage. There we go. Much better. Yeah, that blue looks so nice. Oh, what a misclick again. Just in case GM Shin is not gonna buff, I actually do have level 2 buff. Might just cut it for the time being. Because I feel like at this combat power, Eka is literally the most profitable dungeon we can farm. And that's not even including that we're also getting the XP and AP, which we really, really need. Right? It kind of feels that way. Especially on the 4x drop rate bonus. Oh, someone was asking um, in the chat what dungeon to farm Alz with, with like 400,000 combat power. Hazardous Valley, not Awakened version. Just the hard version. Because on the drop rate increased event like we have now. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Drop rate increase, right? Um, that dungeon can drop Minesta skill books. 
Those skill books are really valuable because they give staying clones another like really valuable currency in this game. Yeah, and the drop rate uh, uh, increase, you can actually drop quite a few of them. I'm using my BM3 here just because I'll have enough for the next stage as well. So I kind of save on stamina just a little bit. I really like the claws on the feet. I don't know why. Character looks quite intimidating, eh? No doubt. And yeah, playing this game with effects set up to max. So much more enjoyable. I think by default, like, it doesn't set your effects to maximum. Sooner or later, I'm gonna wanna create a Force Archer, right? It's gonna be maybe, like, really long time from now. Because after this DM, I kinda wanna play with the Blader a little bit. But on the next level up, I want, wait, we have Gladiator. But eventually, I think we'll build a Force Archer as well, so... We'll keep it for those days. Oh, but yeah, Fragment Cores, you do get, like, uh, the same amount, I think. Last run... We, I think we got the same by this stage. Definitely a way how to get to level 200. Because at 199, we're already getting an extra like 7 billion XP, right? Plus, I think the troglodyte potions are actually gonna reset in 3 hours, I think. Something like that. So that could be like another a nice amount of XP, right? Maybe the rest we can just basically farm with Eka. Yeah, I think it's quite reachable. Because maybe if we can reach level 200 today, maybe just tomorrow for one day we play with the blader. Because the blader has the exchange tickets also, right? 15 that you get for free. So just get full, like, temp gear on the blader. And, you know, let loose for the next 6 hours. Because with the blader we could actually do some serious dungeons while we have the drop rate increased. Like, um, the phantom one, right? I see one and I see two. I think would be an option as well. The awakened ones. I see one for sure, but I see two as well. Wait, oh man, I lost track. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't BM3 earlier. Man, the cape looks good, right? Mm, beautiful. And Eka is so peaceful as well, right? Once you know which stage you can clear, it's like it's really peaceful. You play a little bit, you rest for 30 seconds. Then you play a little bit, you rest for 30 seconds. When I was doing the videos and instead of the streams, what I would do is actually try to stretch in those 30 seconds. Well, like, you're constantly just stretching, right? But whenever, like, attack stage comes in, boom, 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 you quickly get it over with and you continue your stretching. I think it's only, like, a really good advice if you're playing as much as I am, right? I'm pretty much playing this as my, like, full-time job. <laughs> so in those cases, I think you really need to need to look out for your health, you know? Because, like, spending, invest, well, not investing, spending money on a game is okay. But spending your health on a game is not okay, right? That's why we try to stretch from time to time. 15, 16 million. So on level 3, it was, like, from 20 to 26 million. So, yeah, it is definitely a noticeable difference. But I want to see. What if we even clear the tempo stage, right? What if? What if? I mean, it's only hypothetical, right? We're not actually... Considering of uh, killing Tempus with the DM. Why not? Why not try, right? If we pass wave 9, we're definitely trying Tempus. Even though the GM might expire. I just want to see maybe by some miracle, right? You can never know. Sometimes Cabal surprises you like that. Like, boom, you can clear Tempus now. That would be literally insane. Because when you think about it, this character is what? Like 4-5 days old? And like, for a character this young... It's crazy to just be doing Echo, right? Just solo. But we're doing it. We're getting like 20 million XP per hit by doing so. It's not bad. It's gonna get us where we need to be eventually, right? I was bored and I exited the game. Now looking at the stream, wanna play again? <laughs> oh my days. The Cabal hype, right? Okay, focus time now. Are so good. It's You know, it's also like really hard to know. You have to kind of look at the damage that you're doing to know if you're knocked down or not, right? See, like, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Because even the HP is flapping like that, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But I think we killed the boss now. Easy peasy. Well, not easy peasy. Easy, but a little bit stressful. Eh, that's how I would describe it. Now we get to the fun part. So I've never cleared VF9 with uh, this DM before. Oh, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> oh, you sneaky bugger. You left your comrades to die. You hid in the corner this whole time. Would your commander would be proud? I think not. And now I don't even have enough time to kill this. Oh my god. What, you maybe get like one fragment chaos less. 
Oh, GM buff is expiring. <laughs> We're gonna be able to use a little bit of the GM's buff, but not a whole lot. I think Alora here as well. Maybe immediately or maybe not. What do you guys think? I think let's try and work it out a little bit with just the BM. We're doing okay damage. That's good. Now it's all about the knockdowns. Oh my god. <laughs> and you see with my blader I have evasion, right? I never realized how how powerful is this boss. You don't have evasion. Like next level. We're okay to die here if anything. Hopefully we don't, but happens it happens we got one and they got us okay the gm was about to expire man that stage was hard wasn't it oh my days the more i play dm the more i have to say like blader so overpowered man with my bladers like shoo, shoo, shoo. easy peasy could do it while watching like a series on a second monitor right i could do it while stretching well for the most part if by intuition because then you just kill the first one really quick right I guess if we want to clear that stage with DM, we need like insane amount of combat power. It feels like if we clear wave 9, we're automatically going to be strong enough to kill Tempus. That's how strong we need to be. So I think maybe level 3 Eka is better, right? Obviously, we need the GMs, if anything. It could be any minute right now. Hey, Ozar, welcome to the stream. It could be in 5 minutes, the GMs buff. Maybe we wait, right? Because I think we're actually going to get it. Let me see if there's anything else I can improve. Maybe getting these to plus 9. I, I actually I struggled to remember how hard was to plus 9. Because if I have to use like so much cores, it's not worth it. Because I think plus 9 you still do it just like normally. Or do you have dummy items when you're upgrading till plus 9 or not? I'm not sure. Wait, maybe there's something else we can do. <gasps> I know. Well, something we can actually get some combat power from. Chloe, craft shop, I think. Oh, wait, look at this. I have a wizard. Do you have a speed buff? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. You never know if you don't try, right? Nope. Alrighty. Here, open craft shop. There we go. So I do have quite a bit of those fragments, right? I managed to hit it big on some of the stellar items. That's why I actually have a decent amount. This one actually is gonna go to warehouse for when we... Uh, gonna upgrade these to collection oh, okay we can buy 30 that's not too bad we have 75,700 okay let's see maybe we'll get like the streamers luck eh on the stellar i think i'll shoot for the cheapest possible option and maybe we get lucky maybe we don't okay desire i think first like it's better to um try to fill like the whole map before before trying to actually shoot for the stats you want we have fury we have grief and desire Again. All skill am though. Oh, but it's for PvP. You PvP. Maybe do like one quick then. Oh, look at this. I could do this just for stamina, right? While we're waiting to see if the GM Shin is gonna buff us or not. Didn't take too long this one. This dungeon I like to farm when we have the dungeon boost event, right? It's like pretty nice. Because it's really quick, right? In and out. Maybe like two, three minutes. A little bit of lag. Okay. Look at the barrage of items dropping. <laughs> Maybe it's a good farm spot for those, like, discs and stuff like that, right? Come on, GM Shin, show up. Now or never, GM Shin. Don't let us down. I also need to check in the warehouse if I uh, manage to find those uh, evasion potions. Maybe we don't even need the GM's buff, right? Or should I say maybe we can uh, efficiently level up with level 2 GM's instead of the level 4. For medium, oh my days. Alrighty. Say maybe we get something special. Who knows? Ooh! I mean, just for doing one run? Oh, we don't- we didn't get any SP though. <laughs> we got the same amount as we uh, used in the dungeon. But we got this guy. Maybe it's not bad. I don't know. Maybe doing this one's glacial, right? Because they do give more XP than Eka. I just remembered. I know for sure it has to be one of the two. Either the crystal thingy or Eka. Because the drop rate is increased. It's like literally the most valuable uh, entries we can do i will just use sp potions let's get cracking i just want to try it out okay so do i want to protect i think i'm just gonna try and protect one crystal or should i say the seal stone right because when i was doing this on my wizard that was the strategy that i took just focus on saving one of those stones for as long as possible penetration and magic oh oh my god the red tower is almost down <laughs> on the first stage Come on, guys. One is left. 
Hi man, greetings from PH. Hey, welcome Kai, welcome to the stream, man. We're trying to level this guy to 200. Not even today, by the end of the stream, I mean. So we have uh, ambitious goals, for sure. Oh my days, my uh, red tower is crying. Holding on to its last breath. Okay, let's get ready. So what, like, first stage was like 6 million per hit, something like that. Let's try and stay in the middle. Oh. This guy is confused, he's like, hmm, man, should I? He's contemplating. Oh, <laughs> he saw his uh, fellow. Uh, <laughs> look at this. He's running away. He's like, nah, nah, I don't want this. I don't want the smoke. Thinking about, do you want the smoke, my friend? Or do you not? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, he wants the smoke. You're gonna get it, my friend. You're gonna get it big time. Still watching your stuff, even though I didn't play for 11 years. <laughs> oh, my days. Man, 11 years is a long time. It's actually been so much updates, right? In the 11 years. 43 divine cores, not too bad. I'll use my blader just for some extra assistance. Or should I say force blader? So I think we have one more minion wave and then we have the boss wave, right? Hopefully that's the case. Man, I keep looking at the cape. We look so cool. Ooh, oh my days. Okay, so this is actually without the quest. It might be a little bit hard. Maybe we'll be fine. Okay. Oh yes, yes, we're fine. We're lagging for some reason, but we are fine. Oh, and look at the XP though, right? The XP is beautiful. So the Ice Guard wasn't actually that powerful as I initially thought, right? Because you have to kill the guard, the one that we killed, right? So you can actually effectively kill the... 1 each, oh, 19%. I took a glance, I was like, oh, is this at 1 HP? Man, too bad I cannot... Maybe I can. Or this guy is a little bit smarter. That one guy is having at it at the tower. I cannot let this happen. I hope it's gonna be a boss stage after this one because I'm not sure if I can manage to uh, hold off another AoE wave, right? The boss, I think I'll be fine because I'm really... Oh, I ran out of time. Hope you have a nice day. Oh, I'm having like the nicest day. The nicest day. So I think as long as I can kill this guy, get the extra divine cores, I'm happy. Let's use the defensive stance. I'm doing this without aura. You have to keep this in mind. But maybe I'm gonna use it. This guy is a tough cookie. A cookie that does not want to crumble, right? The effects are beautiful, though. 14 HP mana. Oh, my days. But I think we still got him. And this is with a Paulot of Sage, not the Paulot of Guardian. Right? We have to be mindful of that as well. Maybe for this stage I should switch. Or maybe let's just try it. Let's just roll like this. See how far we can get. I'm about to start a new character and just rush to level 200 and then buy the Mitra set. That's literally what I did when I first started this game five months ago. I was leveling a wizard and I basically it was the pretty much the same level up event, right? But yeah, make sure to uh, start your new character while the level up event is still active. You might only have one day if you want to do it. Because that's the, exactly the same thing I'm doing here as well. That's why you want level 200 so bad. Because we'll get... Basically, even more event items, right? For 30 days. The only difference is I'm not actually gonna invest in the uh, Mithril gear. Because uh, once the event period ends, I'll just go back to playing on my blader. And when we have a new level up event, then I'll level up a new character, I think, as well. Because it's, it's fun to level up, right? And it's useful for the whole account. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Oh, look at this. The stones can actually heal up over time, right? That's nice. Very nice. Maybe this is actually a pretty good place to farm. Our XP is increasing for sure. Getting some AP as well. And not to mention that we're making money at the same time, right? From what we've gathered, we can craft one, 10 Divine Cores. So basically 10 million, right? It's gonna add up. Although we're not gonna sell it, we're just gonna use it to buy entry dungeon entries. But still, if not earn money, we save money, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna also Aura on this stage. Not take any chances because this is gonna be like huge xp right we want to make sure we get everything like 20 million per hit but i think that's because my damage is fairly low right but we have like a lot of hits though just bought paladinium boots plus 18 for 5 billion oh my days you spending money today eh? 5 billion that is a lot i hope those boots are nice paladinium plus 18 for 5 billion so it probably was maybe even three slot or maybe like Master Paladinium. Or maybe like Craftsman's Paladinium. 3x magic, okay. Yeah, so I guess that makes sense. 
if I had to guess, it probably has like a little bit of a divine upgrade as well, right? Maybe like 11 or 13. Sixth wave. Okay, so this is still not the boss stage. I mean, maybe we can we can last even one more stage, right? Why not? Maybe this is a good one to farm. Because this is definitely the last stage. After this, we're gonna run out of time. Hope I didn't BM too early. Probably I BM too early. My days. What an army heading our way. Alright, come here, boys. Let's get this over with, eh? Hopefully they cannot knock you down. I mean, is this all for... Is this all for the minions? Okay, the special effects are nice. Oh, wait, what? Oh, some bosses spawned as well. Frozen Clue or Panic Cave. These are, like, two, like, super quick ones. Or maybe let's do Lava Hellfire. I kind of want the red color team right now. More than the blue one. Just gonna look nicer. More beautiful, per se. I think we'll succeed to reaching 200 by this stream. Maybe just leave this guy attacking the training dummy overnight. That could also be a possibility. Just to fix the skill XP. Or maybe we can find a few more skill XP quests. Well, I have a few. Try and do them after I reach my uh, desired level. How much does he get? This dungeon is also pretty cool, right? For the uh, upgrade cores. 10 to 20% per run on 199. That's real nice. Also, I have like a little secret weapon as well. Still have the 199 quest, right? Ahead of me, so that's all. also like 7 billion XP. Also gonna be a little bit useful. Has anyone dropped anything good from like the Awakened DX dungeons? Or nah? Just wondering. I'm sure there's like really strong people who can actually do 30 of each Awakened DX dungeon like really quickly, so it's not even a problem for them. Over the last four days, you dropped three critical rings to ignore penetration runes from B2F part 2. Oh, the B2F part 2 is the easiest one, isn't it, right? Well, like CP wise, right? Because I think like the normal, wait, ER3 B2F, that's what you're doing, right? Up. Should I? Man, it's gonna take a whole decade to kill this boss with AoE attacks, right? <laughs> it's crazy because we're doing this dungeon to regain stamina. But we're not regaining any stamina. If anything, we're spending stamina. <laughs> I guess let's just use this. Because if you take too long, this guy is gonna teleport you away. It's gonna be even more hassling. Maybe after this run, I actually am gonna get like uh, another entry. Oh yeah, you get another one. 10,000, come on. We need to hit it big on the uh, stamina. Still cannot take the ring? There we go. B2F part 2 has exactly the same drop than part 1. And it's way easier. Ooh, okay. Okay. I mean, that would be a good dungeon to farm as well. But I think we need to uh, stay focused on the goal here. First get 200, then do the uh, dungeons for money. But yeah, DM looking sharp, right? Beautiful. I'm happy I upgraded to the uh, Demonite gear. Because now we can actually use like the uh, Powlet, right? And look steezy like that. 15k SP. Nice. I'm thinking maybe let's shoot for the rune cube. Just because there's so much runes that we still need. What do we get? Gamble a little bit. Pet XP. Huh. Wait, pet XP is actually not even bad. I think it has like a ridiculously uh, inflated price. 10 million. I mean, okay. Yes. I'll take that. Don't mind that at all. Oh, wait, maybe I don't have my GMs. My level 2 ones. Oh, no, I do. There we go. Happy days. Happy days for that. Attack rate is probably good as well, right? Look at this remnants of battle. I have 10 of them so far. I've been collecting them for the longest time. Never used any of them. So maybe one day, you know, it could be actually like fun to do. Alrighty. Okay, okay. I think we're all set and ready. Why do I have four score mediums here? I also want to do some kind of upgrading, right? I'm itching for some upgrading. Yes, let's continue the Glacial Inferna. Or maybe like... Wait, maybe we should ask for help. Maybe we should, right? If we find that anyone that's free, then sure, why not? Look at this, the lightning aura. The beauty, right? Another reason why we want level 200. <gasps> also remember, I do have this uh, quest for the... Uh... Wait, did the daily quest disappear? Haven't done it for sure. Hold up. Yeah, daily mission, there we go. Rain okay, we can do it. B3F. I think we're just gonna enter B3F real quick, just like that. I even have the entry. Let's use a GMs. B3F obviously is gonna give good XP as well, but we're not gonna be able to finish it, right? 
But just to do it for the quest, right? Extra 700 million XP. I'll take that. So, let's see how this DM fears up. I think this is like a fairly good challenge for this DM right now. Okay, hey, we're not actually getting good XP. It's only 2 million per hit, right? I thought it would definitely be like 10, 20 million per hit. That's surprising. Nevertheless, it's super worth it, right? Because look at this, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Look how much XP we're getting. 44.8. 1 billion XP. Nice. Very nice. I think we can just do Eka. Because yeah, we want to get as many of those fragments of chaos as we can. Maybe after this I'll do level 3 Eka. Right, because we're doing Eka's until wave 9. Which I think is like very fast way to uh, loot up a lot of uh, fragments of uh, chaos. Hopefully we'll have enough for the whole upcoming week, right? Plus also, when this event finishes, it means a new event is gonna start, right? I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen. The invasion event would be nice, I think. Where like pigs or like something invades like a certain map. And you kill them for and dungeon entry items, right? Then you actually like make really nice progress while running the dungeons. Because you don't have to pay for the entries. I wonder how many Ekas have I done today in total? How many I have left? Oh. Also, you can do Forex DT1 and DT2 if you have spare Forge gems. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I have 15 right now. But these are not like really spare. We're gonna probably use them for the Troglodyte. Because I already did um, both of those dungeons twice. So at least for today, we're finished. But we'll see, you know, if... If it's gonna churn out, like, too hard to reach level 200, we can just get close, right? And tomorrow I'll have, uh, we still have the XP event, right? But when you think about it, like, there's truly nowhere to rush. Worst case scenario, we'll just reach 200 tomorrow with the DT1 and DT2 at level 5, right? But now it's good to also get some alts and just XP at the same time, right? Because, yeah, when you think about it, if the new event is gonna start relatively soon, you should start saving for it, right? It only makes sense, doesn't it? Maybe, like, at the very start of the event, we'll have some, maybe, opportunities. Maybe, like, the event items will be, like, very cheap or something like that. We don't know. We don't know. It's a mysterious world, you know? I have 1.4, which is a pretty hefty amount, to be fair. Because up until wave 9, you get, what, like, 200 uh, chaos of, uh, well, fragments of chaos? That's 20 uh, chaos cores. And one chaos core is, like, 700,000, so... It definitely is worth it to always, like, max out your echoes. If you have the patience for it, of course. Not even that deep. I did 198-200 today in 4 hours as, as you found those potions. Yeah, we probably we're gonna get it with the potions, for sure. Over this XP event... I'll have this uh, character at level 200. That's the main thing. That means we m literally maxed out on the level up event. And we already have like decent gear after the event finishes, right? If we want to farm like premium dungeons, right? We already can with this character. With the wizard, I don't think we can because he's naked. But maybe we might even invest maybe like 100 million to get like Paladinium plus 7. Right, something like that. Do those premium dungeons. Okay, so this is the Tyrant stage now, right? Yep. It just feels better to play now on the DM, right? Because we're making money and making XP at the same time. Feels so good. See what next rune I'm gonna add. But yeah, DM today is like so much more enjoyable than yesterday. And I think what made like a huge difference was uh, these runes. HP absorb and max HP absorb. That's what made like the biggest difference. Because before we had like nice combat power, but we are like still losing, you know? Dying. <laughs> Do you're planning to make a gear video for new players to uh, gear goals and stuff like that? I have like one pretty basic one just to kind of show that on an A server, Paladinium items look like this, right? Are extremely cheap. Like this would cost, with empty slots, less than 10 million. So for new players, just buy the Paladinium equipment, right? Yeah. I think that's, that's pretty much it. That's why it's so cheap to level up a new character, right? And yeah, I made like a little bit like of those uh, guides where I just kind of buy all of the items live, you know? Hey, Bogarts! Welcome to the stream, man! 
But yeah, gearing up at this point in game, it's it's super easy. At least for the early game, right? Man, when I look at the fragments of chaos, the dungeon becomes uh, more and more enjoyable. Theoretically, if we were to sell those, what, that until wave 9, that would be like 15 million maybe profit, something like that. Well, not profit, because 2.5 for the entry, so let's say 13 million profit, right? If you do wave 9, not too bad at all. Oh, yes. The only difference now is that we're drinking tea instead of coffee. That's the only difference from the morning stream, right? We were banging that coffee and now we're banging that tea with honey. And it feels good. It feels refreshing. Already over 200 fragments. Very nice. That's what we like to see. Let me use blade, bone shield just in case. Because that guy seems to really love uh, knocking me back. Oh my days, how many knocks back can you do? Relax. My days. Come here, guys. You're all in this together. Take this damage as a group. Man, this guy just does not want to fight, eh? There we go. 2.5 thousand fragments of chaos. I would say that's not too bad at all. Could actually use those blessing beads if I wanted to. But they had like very little, very little XP, right? Oh, wow, we only done 5 clears so far. Man, I think if I had Transcendence, I think that's gonna be a game changer. Well, him is killer. Well, I have like a few quests that I haven't claimed. That helped a little bit. Yes. Let me show you. There we go. Oh, GM Shin. Beautiful. Man, this this is a game changer right now. Spoiler alert for me. <laughs> I mean, I still didn't use it, but I have it. I have one of them. Right? But we were not farming IC1 Awakened, so it is okay. Oh, GM Shin, how nice that you showed up, eh? So maybe while we're here... Somehow managed to get a Force Archer buff, right? Maybe we can get a Wizard's one as well. Six million for one. I mean, maybe... Nah, nah, that's that's a bit too much. That's a bit... Let's get the Mana Rune, so we don't have any issues at all. Not gonna cost much. Where are you? Where did you hide, huh? My precious my Mana Rune. There we go. We can upgrade it a bit. I think now 1.6. Yeah, we definitely have enough. Maybe even do Icy 1? I mean, we could get a rare drop, right? You never know. And the XP is pretty good there as well. What do you guys think? Eka or we switch it up and do Icy 1 Awakened? Because the level Icy 2 Awakened, I think it's still gonna be out of our reach. It's gonna be a little bit too hard, I think. We don't get that much XP, right? Still. Because it's mostly single target. Maybe just a few more Glacial Infernos? Hmm. Maybe just... Man, I still can't get over the fact that I cannot beat wave 9, right? Something tells me that if I tweak something, I'm actually able to beat wave 9 in Echo, and that would be huge. That would be huge, right? I can get a bit more attack, right? I also can get a bit more HP. Okay, it's hard for DM. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> it's definitely ain't easy. But it's possible, right? We need to just brainstorm for a little bit. Evasion potions are too expensive, man, right? We don't wanna... Wait, maybe there's some, like, damage reduction potions, right? Oh, wait, no. I'm not looking. Buff potions, right? I know that damage reduction potion would be actually really good. Woodmaster potion. Wait, maybe, like, level 1 evasion? Maybe 3000 evasion would be enough. What do you guys think? Because level 2 evasion already jumps in the price by 1.5 mil. Or maybe level 2, actually. 2.5 mil, I think I can pay that. I think that's fair, right? Evasions no longer work as before they nerfed. Oh, they nerfed them. Maybe let's just try buying one and see if we can pass wave 9. If we manage to do so, okay, then maybe we'll buy another one, right? Still need the entry. Because, yeah, we need to somehow get to... Maybe if we pass wave 9, maybe, like, Tempus is not going to be a problem as well. Because this DM, like, it... He's genuinely pretty strong, right? I think with, like, transcendent skills, we would already be able to uh, clear, right? Because not having the transcendent skills is, like, a huge disadvantage when you think about it. Just buy and try. Yeah. That is the play. But, yeah, over today, like, we upgraded this character so much, man. So much. I'm also super happy that I decided to go for the left tyrant's ring, right? Turns out it's really cheap. Who could have known, right? 35 mil. When ring of luck plus ring critical ring plus one at the moment costs like 40 million, which is insane, right? Never buy it for 40 million. 20 is like the most. 20 is absolutely the most. 
575. I think for tomorrow's stream will already be like 600,000 combat power with everything. Phantom is actually another good idea. What do you think are the odds of uh, us clearing Phantom solo? With the blader with similar combat power I definitely can do it. But maybe this guy is strong as well. Maybe after this Akka we try even the Phantom? Cause that's like super insane XP as well, the Phantom. We can use our BM3 I think now. I already have 2.5k fragments. I think that's gonna... Plus tomorrow I'm gonna farm some more as well. That might be enough for the whole week. I hope you have like a warm drink by your side. Whether it be coffee or tea. Or maybe just um, a bottle of water. Working casually like that. Because I have both. I have tea and water by my side. Debuff on. Oh, easy as that. It's quite a shame that Cabal removed the change appearance feature, right? With the last update. I am a water boy. <laughs> yeah. Nice and healthy. That's the way to go, man. For sure. Man, Eka is relaxing. Sooner or later, we're gonna get to a point where we're doing like... We're clearing Eka, right? From start to finish. Which is better, Blader or Force Blader? I mean, the more powerful one, I think, is the Blader. But you never know what you like more, you know, maybe... Because the Force Blader is nice for the debuffs, right? So even if you're not super strong, but you're doing group dungeons, you know, you're also, like, really useful to the team because of the debuffs. Oh, Material Cores are selling. Nice. That's good. Extra income. But yeah, if you only care about which class is the stronger, then I think the blader is definitely your pick. As I main a blader, and a blader is like insanely powerful. It's crazy. That's why I, I love to play the DM now, because it just gives me the perspective, you know? Because if the blader is the only character that you play, it's not gonna feel overpowered because you don't really have anything to compare the experience to, right? And yeah, sooner or later I'm gonna try all of the classes, and I'll have all of the classes at level 200. That's gonna be exciting, right? I think the daily grind is gonna be much more fun, because I'm gonna be doing premium dungeons with every single class. One dungeon, well, four dungeons per character, per day. And those dungeons are really quick, right? So it's gonna be really fun to just kind of switch up the class. <gasps> no! Why am I so foolish? Oh my days, I just used my only evasion potion and it only lasts for like 30 seconds. Oh, oh well, it is what it is, I guess. To clearing Eka fast, I think Force Gunner is the best because he can hit five bosses at once on the last wave. Okay, okay. But Force Gunner I already have, right? I already have a Force Gunner. He's not level 200, but he's like close. I think in like the very first videos of the channel, you could still find like Force Gunner videos. The thing I like the most about the Force Gunner was the BM3 for sure, because you can literally fly, right? That is exciting, because when you think about it, you're gonna constantly be farming dungeons. Most of your time is gonna be either in BM2 or BM3. So if you love the BM3, it's a perfect class for you, right? I just didn't vibe with the BM2 of Force Gunner. It was cool, but it wasn't that cool. Like, if the machine gun BM2 was like single target, for sure. We would probably then would be leveling Force Gunner instead of the DM right now. Looking for a Vision Pot sponsor. <laughs> I think it's fine because I'm pretty sure you can buy evasion potions from the guild shop, right? So maybe I'll do some preparations after the stream with my main character to buy out all of the evasion potions. Or maybe tomorrow we're not even gonna need them because we'll already be level 200. We'll have like even better rings equipped, right? Not to mention all of this AP we're getting right now, right? We're gonna be leveling those runes. And I'll probably leave this character to uh, add training dummy overnight. So also we'll probably have Transcendence as well. And Transcendence is gonna be absolutely huge. Because I've seen the DM also gets like a really nice passive skill where like it just increases your magic skill amp. Which I think is gonna be like super powerful, right? So once we hit the Transcendence, then we do the dungeons. Like proper farming, you know? Maybe now let's use the penetration potion. Maybe even magic elixir. I think penetration is gonna be enough. Because I only have 21 left. Let's think about it. If the um, current events end on the February 27th. Maybe that's the day we get the new events. I have over 6,000 evasion potions level 4. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You probably got them maybe from the guild shop. Right? Because I'm pretty sure... In oh, what is this guy doing? 
You are in the party. There we go. Oh man. Challenge mission. Oh yes, yes, good, good, good. I have challenge missions on my main on the blader, right? So it's good. Also, like the challenge missions are insanely valuable because of the trogla of the troglodyte golden fruit, right? Not the white. Because I think like you can only get them through challenge missions, and you need a bunch of them to level up your attack rate level two and defense rate level two runes, which you're definitely gonna wanna get, right? Okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go for it, right? Can it be done? Let's make this one for the history books, eh? People are gonna talk about this. I'm gonna use magic elixir here because I really need it. Yo! Let's do it! I think maybe like also we have a little bit of a luck factor here as well, right? Like how much we're actually gonna get knocked back. Bone shield? I think we cannot go too far without aura here. Wait, maybe I'm actually stood. What if I go here? Maybe not all of them can attack me. Defensive posture. Okay. Not too bad. We're killing the first one. Remember, if we kill the first one, maybe we can still survive here. Maybe we're good. Now it's gonna be easier because we're taking less damage, right? We only have to deal with two bosses. Oh, man. Don't think I can do anything much more, right? Just hope for the best. Maybe debuff. That's gonna help me. Maybe. <laughs> still surviving. Warning. Okay, warning is a warning. We take those. Maybe we actually... Oh, no. Why did I come back? Hold up, hold up. This is not over yet. I have 18 seconds on this BM2. Right? If I manage to get anywhere close to killing this guy, let's use all the potions, everything. Okay, I think we've run now for just a little bit. Maybe, right? Maybe. Four minutes to spare. Oh, my days. This is gonna be in, like, eSports. In a freaking eSports, right? Oh, I need e even to drink some water, man, to cool me down. This is a... Uh... This is intense right here, but I, f I feel like I can do it. Defensive posture is ready, so I'm gonna use it immediately, basically. Not gonna wait for bone shield. Oh, wait, if we clear the stage, we get like 5 minutes extra, right? Okay, quickly debuff, defense, level 4 potion, and pray. <laughs> nice. Okay, maybe a double debuff on this guy. Quickly claim the coupons, I mean max efficiency. Oh my days, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Another, like, a huge win for the day, right? First time this character is uh, clearing Eka. And when you think about it, this character is, what, four days old? That's a huge achievement. Don't forget, at boss to click unlimited. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I was doing that. If we weren't doing the clicking, man, it would, we would have no chance, right? Hey, nice. Look at this. We're entering big boy XP stages. Oh, my days. And you know what that means. You know, guys, what that means. We are going for the tempus, all right? All out, all gas, no brakes. That's how we roll. I would be astonished if we actually managed to do it. Oh, <gasps> I, bro, I did it with the demonite apollot of sage instead of the guardian one. Wait, we need to think about this, right? Because the guardian one prevents me from getting one shot. But if I have the Sage Apollet, I do more damage, therefore I heal up more. This is a doozy one. Which one do we go for the Tempus, right? Because Tempus has like a really strong one-shot ability, right? How am I even gonna survive Tempus Suppression, though? Or maybe I have to focus on trying to kill Tempus before he suppresses me? Attack is better? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go for it. Attack is the best defense, I guess, right? Okay, so let me think, right? What if... Because maybe we're not gonna be able to kill Tempus before his uh, suppression and like silencing abilities hit. So what if I stay at the very edge of my range, right? And right before the warning, if I somehow try to go even further, right? So maybe I'll I'll dodge like all of the suppression skills. Is it possible like that? Because with the blader, I just use the evasion and say happy days, right? But here we have to strategize, right? I think I'm definitely gonna try because I have really no other option, right? It's either burst him down before the suppression. Tempus will melt you off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I think the same as well. But maybe. What if? What if? Right? What if? You don't try, you won't know. Oh, oh. Hold up. 
I think the stage cannot knock you down, right? Because if they can, I I'm dead immediately. I need to already use my bone shield. Just gonna hope that they cannot knock you down, but I think they can. Just a very low chance. Because if I'm fighting Tempus, I need all of my defensive skills on point. Oh my days. Oh my day. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, I'm even scared to like reload the monsters, right? We were fine. Oh! Attack! Full attack! Attack! Oh my god, how am I alive? How am I alive? Is this really happening? Am I dreaming? Is that what is this what heaven looks like? Oh my days, look at this guys. Another win. Another major W for today. This is how my day is going. Freaking incredible, that's how. Woohoo! A win after win. Oh my days. Am I the ultimate gamer? Am I him? <laughs> it's not possible it will trigger after. Oh man. Crap. Well, I guess the best the only thing we can use the magic. Try to burst him down before anything bad happens to us, right? They say that Tempus will melt us. Well, I hope otherwise. Oh man, the knockbacks as well. One? Maybe we still try to evade? I mean, what do we have to lose, right? Bone shield. Maybe I did it too early. Maybe not. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, we're still surviving. It's still okay. Don't worry. Nice and calm. <gasps> perfect dodge. Absolute perfect Oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We try again, we try again, we try again. One more, come on. Poland wasn't conquered in one day, right? We have to... <laughs> that was a bad example. Rome wasn't built in one day. <laughs> oh my days, how do you... Oh, okay, okay. Whatever, I deserve this. I deserve this after a cruel joke. It was a nice attempt. It was, you cannot say, right? You go too high, mate. <laughs> I mean, reach for the stars, eh? Bro, that would have been like absolute insane. That would have been just incredible. My days. Good effort. It was good effort. Almost died. We almost died like so many times there. Even on, in the stage before Tempus, that was so stressful as well, right? I was holding on to my dear life, trying not to use any of the defensive skills. But I think for tomorrow, because like we did get really close. You cannot tell me that we didn't get close, right? We actually even kind of survived the first suppression stage which is telling me that maybe tomorrow because i'll have the transcendence right i'll most likely have the 200 level because uh i'll use the troglodyte potions because they're gonna reset oh my days and yeah i think tomorrow is the day where we conquer tempus i could try and maybe survive with this one call me uh, optimistic but maybe this was all we needed to clear the tempus obviously now we lost the gm and everything but maybe right because we were close. I think we were really close. I think Tempus was sweating as well, right? I think Tempus was sweating. Wait, if I drink this... Level 1. Huh, okay. Okay, wait. I think I need to put it here. Plus, also, in the morning stream, we found out that we can actually petrify bosses and then they cannot die. Imagine how funny it is for, like, trolling purposes. We're, we're not gonna do it, but it's, it's nice to have that option, you know? Have chunky fun. <laughs> I like it. Maybe I should trademark it, you know? <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you in the next one.